Hi guys, today I want to I want to talk about uh, the reverse polarity protection. So we will see so just a few circuits which can be really useful to protect your analog circuitry. So what is the main problem in here? Let me explain with uh, a paint. In your DC DC converters, uh, let's let's for instance have a DC DC converter. You will have uh, some uh, measurements to take, for instance, the input voltage, um, the output voltage, the output current, and so on. And uh, in your circuit, uh, there will be some uh, analog front end. conditioning. These, uh, these circuits here inside this block uh, are basically made with uh, op-amps uh, which uh, allow the voltage to be read uh, safely by the microcontroller. So for instance you have uh, 200 volts at the output voltage but this voltage here will be with the ripple so you have to put first a divider and then to feed here with a low-pass filter. So this will be all the analog circuitry that you need in order to have, for instance, 5, volt giving, 5 volts given to the microcontroller. So, uh, at, the end, at the end of the story, you're gonna have a lot of op-amp circuitry in your system with 5 volts or, like, or 5 volts, 10 volts, whatever you need, even 3.3 .3 volts. And uh, you want to make sure that this, uh, this voltage goes, uh, does not damage uh, your circuitry. So the first thing that you're going to do, so let's, for instance, uh, take an example. You have your uh, supply, so digital supply, digital circuitry supply with uh, 5 volts. Let's just say that this is the the minus and this is the plus and this goes all in your op-amp circuitry and in everything that you need so let's for instance uh, suppose that everything is given with a load let's just suppose that your all your circuitry requires a load of few milliamps so let's just put uh, one kilo ohm, five kilo ohms. So one milliamp is going to flow. If you accidentally, let's connect it to ground. If you accidentally swap the minus with the plus, as you can see in the dot op, you will have, let's call it output voltage you're gonna have uh, basically minus 5 volt here and so your your circuitry will be damaged so you need the, the reverse polarity protection in order to avoid to give negative voltage when these two are swapped for mistake so let's discuss the first solution the first solution is the Schottky diode the series Schottky diode is basically the easiest is, is the easiest way to protect your load. Just put a Schottky diode here to reduce the drop voltage and basically you'll be safe. So now, even if you connected wrongly, so let me let me draw this is my load and this is my and this is my reverse polarity protection now you connected wrongly again and if you run again the simulation you're gonna have basically zero voltage here so this solution effectively protects you from the negative supply. It is the easiest 
it is, it is the easiest way so this is the easiest cheapest this is the easiest and the cheapest way what is the problem with this is that if you increase the load too much so let's put just one ohm and let's run the uh, transient simulation yes one second it should be enough you see that uh, uh, when it normally conducts so let's just put uh, the right uh, the right verse you see that this is going to dissipate uh, um, much much power and uh, so basically the main uh, downside of this is that you're gonna have significant drop voltage at higher loads and then you have also a high power dissipation another solution may be to use even the Graltz bridge so let's let's cancel this and let's put the the, the Graltz bridge instead You do remember how it is done at Gats Bridge. Just put the four diode like this. Connect this with the load. Now connect this with that. And just this with this. So with the grass bridge, you are always sure that the, the voltage that is going that, that is, is giving the load it is always positive, independent from the verse. Now, if I accidentally put my, my minus five ohms, minus five volts, you see that. Uh, sorry, maybe I did connect them. I did I did connect wrongly. Because it should be rectified. Yes, it is. Uh, sorry, it, it, there was a, a, a little mistake. It is still. It, it is still. So you're gonna. You're gonna still receive the same amount of voltage rectified, but as you can see, it has the same problems as the circuit before. So you, you're gonna have again a higher drop voltage depend, depending on the load. So you see that if I put five ohms, now the drop voltage will decrease, and if I put one kilo ohm. The, fire drop, the drop voltage will decrease again so you can see this just just by put uh, just by putting uh, dot step param x list let's just put a list of values the first value is 1 ohm 100 ohm and 10 kilo ohms if you put x here you can study the voltage difference uh, between the output voltage and the input voltage and as you can see as i said the the difference of the two is increasing as the load current increases so it is not the so the the Graltz bridge should be avoided because uh, it, dissip it dissipates too much and uh, honestly you're gonna have too much drop voltage when there is uh, when there is a high in a high load condition so it is not the safest solution for this reason i want you to introduce in another so let's write uh, graals bridge so this reason i want you to introduce to another and uh, this is my favorite uh, active power supply circuit protection It is done with the PMOS. Let's put a PMOS and let's it connect with the diode connection instead. Let's put a Zener diode here. 
type, 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 fast recovery, shot key, silicon, zener. And let's just put a one kilo resistor grounded. Now let's see what happens. If you do run the simulation, let me pick just a proper MOSFET. If you do run the simulation in normal in a normal condition, even with the increase of the load, you see that the drop voltage is not. You see that even in high load condition, you have just one hundred sixty millivolt as drop voltage. So it it has really quite. Uh, it, it is behaving really well because in a high current condition there is just one millivolts as a drop voltage and as you can see in low in the low draw in low voltage condition there is just a few millivolts so it is working very nicely in when it is forward conducting and let's see what happens if i reverse the polarity of this let's put minus five volts you see that you have uh, you see that you're gonna have uh, uh, minus 5 volts as a difference between the output and the, and the input so the output voltage will just be basically zero minus 18 nanovolt so by far this is uh, i think that by, that by far this is one of the best solution because it, it requires just two components it has less power dissipation, so let's just write that the, the PMOS solution has less power dissipation, less forward drop voltage with respect to the Schottky solution, and uh, uh, you can even think to use the NMOS solution, I will just... Uh, write that but i do not recommend it and uh, now i i will explain you why so to let, let 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 me um let me cancel this and let, let, let me put a uh, nmos instead so the nmos configuration should be like this if I'm not me if I'm not mistaken you have to put let's put five volts. Okay, when you have 5 volts, uh, this uh, circuit is working nicely and you have 5 volts uh, at the output. Let's put uh, minus 5 volts. Uh, okay, I think that the MOSFET is, uh, should be mirrored. So yeah, uh, it is uh, um, it is quite strange because okay, uh, I do not recommend this solution. It is quite strange because, uh, as you can see, no current is flowing. So uh, no current is flowing into the into the load. As you can see, we have uh, pico amperes, but uh, basically just because uh, the there is no ground. So this solution, I do not recommend to use this solution because you have uh, the a floating a floating voltage. So forget this solution in your circuitry because you have a floating load and uh, all the current coming through here so let me uh, let me check this let me just write this that uh, all the currents uh, uh, recirculate here in the ground so basically 
at this point uh, here you're gonna have also some other currents coming from other parts of the circuit because this is a, a grounded MOSFET and uh, honestly you don't want to employ this solution so forget even exists actually and just go with the this solution instead so at the end of the story I do I do recommend uh, this solution here on if or if you want or if you are sure to work in uh, low current condition just use the shot the just use the shot key diode instead and you will be protected as well thank you guys